it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make an envelope using the Crafters Companion Envelope Maker board. I have previously shown you how I do my easy peasy envelope for any size card and I will link that in the blog post that I will put with this video as well. If you're on YouTube as always if you go to the paragraph below this video click show more you will find the link to the blog post as I said that's what I will put the video on there for you as well. So if you don't have this board and you want to know how to make any size envelope and also any size card then I'll put that videos both those videos on that blog post for you however today's video is about making this envelope to fit the card that I made for you last week and this card is six and a half by seven and a half so taking the leaflet that goes with the um, board you go to the page for a flat envelope and you look across the table at six and a half and then down for seven and a half or the other way around and you'll come to a square and it will tell you that you need a piece of paper that is ten and three quarters inches square so I took a piece of 12 by 12 in this lovely green which I thought would go perfectly with my card and I am cutting that to ten and three quarters on one side and of course ten and three quarters on the other once you've cut your paper to size, you go back to your booklet and you drop down again to find the square that's relevant to the size card envelope that you want. And you'll see here two letters. These are the letters that apply to the, to the grooves on the board. Just you'll see here, it talks about using position one and I've on the page for a flat envelope. Position one is this first corner level on here and you'll see you just slide your paper into that. So if it was level two, you'd move it up to the next one, etc., etc. But because we're doing a flat envelope, that's all we need. And then you'll see along the grooves are marked the letters. So you're gonna find your letter J and the letter L. We're gonna start off with J and we're gonna score down having put our paper into that corner. It's really simple. We're just gonna score down that letter J just down now be careful not to score too hard because this is paper but obviously if you're using card that won't be a problem now turn it 180 degrees so the opposite corner is then put into the little um, level one there and then score again at the letter J then turn it one rotation so 90 degrees to the corners that haven't been scored yet so pop that corner in and then score on the a second letter that you've got so in this case it is L so you're then creating a different shape in the middle you're not got a square you've got a square piece of paper but the shape you've created with the scored lines is going to be hopefully if you've done it right the shape of your card so then I've twisted it around one more time 180 degrees and I've scored the opposite side on my letter L again now you'll see there where the um, score lines cross you just want to nick out those little corners so if you'll see I know I've got a screen there there we go you can just see I'm cutting along those two score lines and just taking out that little nick it just makes it a lot easier and neater when you then fold it up so then folding now along your score lines and you can see I don't even need a score tool it is paper and it's nicely scored I'm going to fold on all four sides like so so now you can see already the envelope has been created so the next thing we really need to do is actually stick our envelope together you want to use something that's pretty decent and it's going to stay stuck because you don't want your envelope coming apart in the post so I'm using this very thin thin red liner tape it's really really strong and it will hold this envelope together nicely so I'm putting two pieces on the actual two flaps there rather than putting it onto the one flap that you're going to put down onto the two so you'll see what I mean in a minute this way you can be absolutely sure that if you put it on the one flap you're likely to take it up to the point and then when you push that flap down you'll see in a minute as I push this down what will happen 
is that the pointy bit will then actually stick to the back of your envelope so you can see here look as I push that down the little point is actually above the two flaps at the side there so if I'd have put the adhesive onto the actual flap here that I'm sticking down now or pushing down that would have stuck to the envelope at the back um, therefore you would have had an envelope that you couldn't put a card into so definitely recommend that you do it that way round and now you can see that we have definitely got our envelope um, however we need a way obviously to seal it so again using my red tape this has the advantage not only that it will be strong as on the main part of the envelope but also if you are selling your cards someone can see very easily that there is a tape backing that needs to be peeled off and that's how they need to seal the envelope um, as you can see this is the card that we made last week and you can see how gorgeous it looks with this envelope I think it makes it really attractive having a custom made envelope it makes it so obvious that you're getting happy mail so I hope you have enjoyed making this envelope using the crafters companion envelope board um, as I said don't forget to go across to the blog post but otherwise thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you again next time thanks a lot bye for now bye <laughs>